Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Agnieszka Szulińska, and just a pointer. And I would like you to talk about uh, our communication workflow between developers and DH team, so coding and no-coding participants of our DH projects. Because digital humanists won't be all hardcore coders, no chance. Of course, one of us will gain some skills in Python and so on, but still we need people, for example, who code in our digital projects, who are, for example, from STEM disciplines. Thus, we might find solutions and tools that could be used for communication between these two groups with sometimes radically various competencies. Sometimes competencies are the key, which tool should we uh, choose? And do you need maybe a tool for reporting bugs and, and talking about new ideas for improvements, new functionalities? And also this tool should be free, of course, or open, transparent in a way that you could, for example, share your whole communication with the internet, let's say, modular with the direct connection to the code of your project and requires no coding skills, so a lot of things. But we've got one, and this is a GitHub issues. <laughs> so I know this is not a tool created especially for humanities or digital humanities, but give it a chance. Um, this is a part, a standard part of every GitHub. Uh, both for personal and institutional accounts. And it's always in the same uh, place. Sometimes you need to switch it on, but it's free, it's not a paid option. Uh, just a few words about us. Uh, DH team is, uh, we are mostly digital literary researchers uh, with an experience in creating digital scholarly editions, correspondences, early 19th, 19th century novels, dramas, and as Polish humanists, we deal with seeking sustainability for our team and funding for digital projects. Hence, open tools are crucial for us, and GitHub Issues has this feature. And as you see, we have some comp digital competencies, like we know how to TI, so we are not maybe super no-coders, but still we need some people uh, to build our backup, for example. And uh, we still need and wish to cooperate with developers in our everyday work. Developers are external comp company. It's not a full-time job in our DH center. Still, we need to find a tool to communicate. And it looks like this. I know it's Polish, but we'll go through this. No worries. <laughs> uh, for now, uh, you should see the 30 open and 291 closed issues. That indicates that 30 is still in progress and over 209 are completed. But if we need to reopen it for any reason, we can still do that. And uh, this is a space both for coders and no coders. And I think this is a slightly uh, cut button new issue in the top right, but we will go to that. I would like you to show you our templates because we are using two. New functionality, the first one, and report a bug. I know also GitHub allows you to create a third one, report a vulnerability in a system for cybersecurity reasons, but we are not using that in our projects. And as for uh, template for bug, the first, of course, we need to get a title, and there is this bug label uh, with the title. We can remove it if we want. And the first field is obligatory. We should um, describe the bug with screenshots and links. This is our role. Without screenshots and links, developers cannot help us with <laughs> that, uh, unfortunately. Uh, sometimes uh, there is possible, but in general, we need to add screens and describe what's happening. Uh, the rest of the fields are not obligatory, but it's recommended to fill it. Uh, the second is we need to point out the steps how to recreate a bug, because for developers it's crucial to recreate the bug we have occurred. For example, go there, click on that link, and see the bug. It's like a shorter version on the first field without screenshots and links. And... Uh, the third field is what should have happened instead of a bug, what is our desired action? 
Uh, next, we've got a list of our operational system. This, this back occurred on Windows, on Mac OS, Android, and so on. And uh, that's all for report back. I think you can also add a browser if you want. Template for new functionalities is much shorter. Uh, you should all, the, the on, apart from title, you should only describe your idea. Although link are not required, it is, for example, I want this functionality, and this is on that website, similar, something like this. The, the more you, the more, if you can somehow visualize your idea, it's better for the developers. Of course, solution field is when this new functionality is connected to error. It's a rare occasion, but there is a field for that, not non-obligatory. Alternatives, if you would like to, if you have another idea for the same fun functional, fun functionality, and additional info just for that. Uh, we can also add to every type of uh, our issue milestone. It is mostly connected to the invoices from developers. They use that. But what is uh, important for us, there is a milestone nice to have. It indicates that additional funding, funding is required. <laughs> yeah, so that's the world we live in. Or this cannot be done yet. Uh, this is a fulfilled um, issue. As you can see, sometimes a one sentence is enough to create an issue. Of course, I've added um, links and screenshots. And of course, you can see a labels. This is something apart from milestone, uh, backend, frontend, urgent. This is very simple, nothing very specific to humanities, maybe. Uh, but it's also optional. OK, so we need to set a few rules if you want to communicate via GitHub. I said about screens and li link, uh, uh, screens and links added especially for the bugs. Uh, always check if it's not an issue already existing on the topic. And you must uh, assign a coordinator for issues. That's me, by the way, <laughs> for contact with devs and ensure everyone knows what this, is, what this label means, if they add that screenshots and so on, and we must remember as the H team that GitHub issues is not a plane from brainstorming. When we go to GitHub issues, we must already know what we want. We use Slack in our everyday work, not only to discussing bugs and new functions, but everything else, because if, we, if I will talk to my boss what we want within that DH project, this is a noise and developers will get confused. So we need to also know what is not and just a second, I will take the time. So it's very crucial. And there is that discussion section in GitHub if you want to have a place from brainstorming. Of course, uh, we could, it's not be seen there, but we can comment that issue, developers too. But for very early concepts and discussing, it's not, uh, it's not GitHub issues. And what is it for us? <laughs> What's the opportunity in using this tool and in such collaboration? For coders, they can easily convert issues into to-dos for them. And for now, I think we are gaining skills in QA testing. I know that QA testers use, for example, Jira and other kind of tools, but we've got the same goals. We're formulating bug reports in an adequate manner. We need to communicate as clearly, as efficiently as possible. Uh, we need to know how to make a good screenshot. It's not always so easy as you think, especially with uh, back should be rather an anima animation than just a static uh, image. And of course, we need to ensure by that the project meets its goals, and this is one of the basics of testing and QA. And this is a very good chapter for, from the new book, the Bloomsbury Handbook to the Digital Humanities, written by Quinn Dombrowski. And this is like many people start to learn how to code as digital humani humanists. And I think that we need to first create our workflow and decide whether this coding is necessary for us. And my presentation should be converted into a workflow. This is a special type of items on Marketplace SSH Open Cloud. This is a platform 100% uh, for digital humanities. Uh, open, and uh, this will be published. Uh, I, will, I will post about it on my Twitter, and as well as the slides of this presentation. 
I think that the beta workflow will be within one on, on two days because I created it on yesterday's workshop about it. And like the fully matured after feedback from this conference and with our developers who are currently on vacation, I think around August and September will be fully how to set this environment for you. I will put that all details with our experience on that. So thank you.